Hey there, what is up? Nathan Richardson here, college student, runner, and now summer salesman. Thanks for clicking on this video. What I'm doing right now is I'm creating this little mini video series called Life Lessons Learned from Running and Summer Sales. Over the last couple weeks, I've just been noticing parallels and similarities between life, running, and summer sales. And so I've started this short little video series just to go into depth studying the things that I'm noticing and those similarities and how doing summer sales or running any sports really can help prepare you for life. As the days go by, I'm noticing how many similarities and parallels there are between life, running, and selling door to door. It's like doing summer sales. It's, it's crazy. Well, I think what we're going to talk about today is being proud and excited for and happy for teammates or coworkers or family members when they succeed. That, that can be a hard thing to do. Like when we're going around knocking, we've got like 30, 40 guys on the team, we've got a group chat that everybody sends in when they get a sale and everybody kind of congratulates them. Woohoo, you got it, let's go, you know? It's a cool environment, but it can be difficult when you're sitting at zero for the day You've been knocking for six, seven hours and so many messages that they got their fifth one of the day or their sixth one of the day. And you're just, you're just, you're, you're happy for them, but you know the emotion, you know, where you're like, you're happy for them, but you're not happy for them because you're jealous. Jealous, jealousy is a dangerous, dangerous thing because it's comparison. The only reason that jealousy exists is because of comparison and comparison is the thief of joy if you compare yourself to others yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you but you're never gonna be satisfied okay there's always gonna be someone better than you faster than you someone's gonna sell more than you make more money than you seem to be happier than you if you compare yourself to other people you are never gonna be satisfied you're never gonna feel like you're successful enough and what I'm learning is to be happy for people when they succeed, you know, congratulate them, but let it, let it motivate you. you know, okay, hey, he's got five cells today. I can go get one, I can, I can go get two. I can, I can at least put everything that I've got today into today. And then if I don't succeed today, I'm gonna put everything that I got tomorrow into tomorrow. And we're just gonna keep going day by day hour by hour, minute by minute, because that's, that's how you got to think about life, okay? You've got to break it down into sizable, manageable chunks so that it's not so overwhelming and to give yourself some grace, okay? One thing you're going to learn very quick is that life is always full of ups and downs. You know, you're going to be on top of the world some days, and then some days you're going to be sitting on a curb. You just got your face kicked in by a person who wants you to get off their property. But you know, you just, you just keep going. And you just, you cannot compare yourself to others. Because that's the thing, like when I got out here, I remember the feeling when I got that first sale. Like, they said, oh yeah, yeah, we're interested in that. I was just, Wait, you, you actually want to buy this? Wait, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And then I got another, and then I got another, and then I got two in a day, and I was like, what? And that's amazing for me. But no, if you look through that through a skeptical lens of, Nathan, you only got one? You only got two? Nathan, there's people out there getting five. There's people, there's people in the company out there getting 15 in a day. Nathan, that's nothing. You look through that, man, that's pretty negative. But you look through it through your own lens of where you are, and it's amazing, okay? With running, I remember first time I broke 430 in the mile. I ran 430 like on the dot junior year. Senior year, finally ran 429. And I was ecstatic. It was amazing for me. But then I was disappointed because I was like, oh, I've got a teammate who's a junior who just ran 425. Like, Come on. And so if you, you gotta put things in perspective and realize you're doing a lot better than you think, okay? 
I am I'm happy. I'm so far it's been I've been selling for six, twelve, fourteen days. Today's my fourteenth day. I've sold eight. And there's guys who's their first time, they're rookies too, who start on the same day as me, this is their fourteenth. One guy is at thirty-two. And you know, I could be really down on myself and say, Wow, I'm never gonna get good at this. Like there's already people there who who have four times as many sales as I and have been doing the same amount of work. They're rookies. They haven't even trained for this. Just like me, you know, I've done some practice and stuff, but you got to just put things in perspective and realize that you're doing, you're doing all right. Okay. And you just keep going down the path you're on and you're bound to see success. Okay. You are bound to see success. Okay. So don't compare yourself to others. Okay. Number one thing, if you took away from this whole video, comparison just don't do it, okay? And it's hard, it's hard not to do. Put things in perspective, be proud of yourself, accept compliments from others. Sometimes somebody will be like, oh, good job, Nathan. And you're just like, I didn't do good. I know how that feels, I know I know you've been there after a bad race, it's just like, good job, it's just, you no, know, I'm a very negative person after a bad race, like, you don't wanna talk to me. Um, but then, you know, you think it over, you realize, okay, this is what I could have done better, and you just get back at it the next time. So just keep going. Whether you're a runner, whether you're a summer salesman, whether you're a college student, whether you have absolutely nothing in common with me, thank you for watching. I'm grateful that you tuned in. Hope that I gave you a little bit of motivation and you have a great rest of your day.